I wanted to uh, share with you uh, the sad news this morning that our brother here at South Main, Bob Jones, uh, passed away on Wednesday of this past week. Uh, Bob had been a part of the church here for several years, and uh, Bob brought a, a, a uniqueness in himself uh, to South Main as he did to other places in this community that uh, subtly blessed us all. Uh, and I will um, ever remember Bob this way, kneeling at this altar rail. Nearly every Sunday he was here. Or he understood what God's grace was all about. So please lift up Jane Grace Sullivan, Bob's two sons, uh, Bobby and Doug. Uh, we will memorialize and celebrate Bob's life here uh, out in the garden uh, on Wednesday morning. We'll have some chairs set up out there and we'll have a time of sharing uh, about Bob and what he meant to each of us. So that will be 10 o'clock this coming Wednesday. Again, we'll meet out here in our garden area. I also would ask that you remember uh, our sister, uh, Patty Lynch. Patty attends here at South Main and has for several uh, years now as well. Um, and uh, her fiance, Richard Wooten, sometimes is with her. Uh, Patty's son, Tim, at a young age, uh, passed away uh, earlier this week. Uh, his life was celebrated yesterday and uh, I know Patty would appreciate your ongoing prayers um, in this time of their grief. Um, in a way of announcements, uh, we continue to serve our lunches. We're serving lunch today and uh, do each day, uh, Sunday through Thursday. We're grateful uh, for the continued support we receive through various churches that provide these uh, lunches uh, for us. Uh, continue to pray for our world situation and particularly as it relates to the pandemic and uh, um, not only pray for those whose lives are being directly affected by this virus um, when we think of those who are sick uh, those who've lost loved ones uh, health care workers who are in the heart of it but um, also in our praying let us ask ourselves what can I do uh, today we are going to be passing out uh, masks. We were given 200 masks by the city of Anderson, along with some t-shirts that say Anderson Strong. Our city council chose to approach this issue of mask wearing through, a, uh, through an effort to try to encourage people to do that versus uh, mandating them. I hope it works. It is so important, so important you wear your mask out in public and if you don't have a mask we've got some now so please uh, please stop by here and we will gladly share what we have so I hope you have a great week uh, we'll be back here on Wednesday Facebook live um, for our prayer time together and uh, as always let me re remind us all why are we here we're here to love God and love each other